It's one of the storied rivalries in all of college athletics. The orange and blue versus the crimson and white. November 20th, 1999, the 64th meeting of the Tide and the Tigers. For Auburn, it meant a chance for a winning season and a bowl game in Tommy Tuberville's first year as head coach. For Alabama, the stakes were much higher. A win would assure the Crimson Tide a spot in the Southeastern Conference Championship game and a rematch with the Florida Gators. But it was also a chance to make history. Four other Alabama teams had gone into Jordan-Hare Stadium. None had left a winner. We are set for football. A huge rivalry and so much on the line. Flash bulbs popping wildly as Arvin Richards starts in the two to the 10. 15 season opening gets smothered at the 20 yard line. The first quarter was one of miscues and missed opportunities. Alabama's offense failed to take advantage of potentially devastating miscues by the Tigers. Lear under Cole Kubelik. Quick release near side. It is off the chest and loose. It is kicked around and covered by whom? By Alabama at the 45-yard line. The pass actually a lateral back to Traveris Robinson. It was not a forward pass, but indeed the officials said a 
fumble off the lateral. Eighth play of the drive, first and 15 from the 18 of Auburn. Millen's in motion from the near side to the far. Hand off Alexander. Can he turn the corner? No. He'll get cut under by Rodney Creighton. The right cornerback stayed with him. The play will lose two. It'll be a second and 17 now for Bama. And here they are setting up for the field goal. Looks like from about the 23. A 33-yard attempt from this distance. Ryan Flugner is four of five this year. The snapper, Brad Ledbetter. The holder is Pat Morgan. The kick is on the way. The kick is up and good. And Alabama has drawn first blood here in the Iron Bowl of 99. 528 remaining in the opening quarter. It's Alabama three. The Auburn Tigers no score. Auburn's next possession ended with coach Tommy Tuberville dipping into his spacious bag of tricks, giving Alabama a golden opportunity. Sammy Mano is in deep punt formation for his 10th kick of the year to Bama's Freddie Millens. Mano's going to throw it on a fake. The pass is low. It is incomplete. Alabama's going to take the football. Alabama is going to take over the football as Auburn on a fourth and eight try to pass from Sammy Mano. <laughs> White, one left. Here's the third and four from the Auburn 23. Zhao to throw. Sets up the screen. Millens comes back for it, gets hit. The play will go nowhere. It'll lose but the Tiger defense the stiffened and kept the tide down. out of the end zone. Alabama settled for another field goal attempt by Ryan Flugner. Snap the spot. The kick is on the way. Plenty of leg, plenty of accuracy. 6-0 Alabama. With a minute and 20 seconds remaining in this opening quarter, the Crimson Tide has scored on two field goals. As the first quarter ended, the Crimson Tide led it 6-0. The lead could have been much larger. And as the second quarter unfolded, it looked like those missed opportunities by the Tide would prove costly. Auburn started the period with a methodical march to the end zone. Robinson, Robinson, and Willis again wide to the far side. Ronnie Daniels to the near side. Here's a third and 12. Auburn two of three and third down conversion for their own 47. Leard has time. Leard throws. Daniels makes the grab. Cannot get first down yardage yet. He'll fight laterally. He's not going to get there. Or does he get there at the last second lunge? He needs the 40. We'll see what kind of a spot the officials give. And Rogers Redding, the referee, is not sure. He says, let's let everybody unpile. We'll bring in the chain. Tenth play of the drive upcoming in a series that's already taken over five minutes for Auburn. Third and seven from the Bama 38. Three wide receivers stacked one behind the other on the far side. Leard under the shotgun. Under pressure. He'll look and loft one up the middle towards Ronnie Daniels. He'll make the grab at the 10-yard line. Ronnie Daniels cutting inside. Had tie-up coverage by Tony Dixon. But they bumped and the pass was caught by the bigger Daniels at the 10. Leard from the shotgun. Going right to left as you listen. Gets the snap. Deploys everybody. Rolls right and looks. Wide open. Near side. The tight end. Lorenzo Diamond. Touchdown. A breakdown in the Alabama pass coverage. Everybody and his brother went right. Diamond came over to the near side. Left all alone. And I mean all alone. Nobody within 10 yards of him. And well Auburn designed. has tied the football game. Well designed to play, Eli. They fooled Alabama that time. They brought in a lot of beef. They brought in three tight ends. And they sprinted to the short side of the field. And the tight end on the wide side of the field, the third tight end, kind of blocked, set right in his position, slipped out undetected for the Auburn touchdown. The extra point by Damon Duval is up and good, and with 10.06 remaining in this first half of play, the Auburn Tigers have now taken a 7-6 lead over the Alabama Crimson Tide, a very workmanlike series, putting Auburn on top in the football game. The Tiger defense was in high gear as well. Alabama held the ball for only five minutes in the period and moved into Auburn territory just once. Meanwhile, the Tiger offense was clicking and had the spirited Bama defense on its heels. Auburn right now, their rushing offense is totaling some 26 yards, but it's the forward progress that's been impressive on a second and two. Handoff, Evans, first down, carries the pile to the 45 of Alabama. My goodness. Marcus Spencer, Salim Rashid, Jarrett Johnson, Reggie Grimes, 
all on his back. Three wideouts right, Ronnie Daniels to the left. Here's a first and ten, Auburn from the Bama 15-yard line. Leard out of the shotgun, off the far hash mark. Steps up, throws, complete. Markeith Cooper, he's going to go. to Markeith Cooper. Well, as we said, not anything special. They're doing everything where Ben Leard gets rid of the ball very, very quickly. This time he takes one look. He's got the guy that he wants. Not a long throw, a simple conservative throw in the flat to Markeith Cooper. Does a good job. He's all alone. They brought him across the formation underneath the linebackers. Catches the ball on the run into the corner of the end zone touchdown. Damon Duval to attempt the extra point. It is up and good. And the 4.46 remaining in this opening half of play, the Auburn Tigers have jumped out on a 14-6 lead over the Alabama Crimson Tide. The offensive explosion had brought the Auburn faithful at Jordan Hare back into the game. And the Tiger defense fed off that emotion on Alabama's next series. Buchanan, Bowens, far side, they go wide to the near side. McAdley and Carter, now AC is in motion, going the other way. Zhao. Fakes the throw, rolls, pass complete to Alexander, but he will lose on that effort out to the 30. Here's a second and 13 from Alabama's own 29-yard line. Zhao out of the shotgun will throw, has time once more. Looks, throws across the middle, intercepted by Auburn. Intercepted, I believe, Kenny Kelly or whom? Larry Kasher. It'll be Kasher who comes up with the football for his fifth interception of the year. It's the Auburn coach's caravan the city near you. Next. But from that point on, both defenses took over, and neither team managed to threaten for the rest of the half. Ben Leard is the quarterback, working out of the shotgun. Takes a quick step drop, here comes the blitz, and down he goes, back at the 43-yard line. Reggie Miles, the right quarterback, nobody picked him up. Shotgun Zhao, wideouts, two to the right, two to the left. Zhao steps back, steps up, gets hit, going down. It'll be to the 40-yard line. The play will not lose any yardage, but Marcus Washington records his seventh sack of the season, and Alabama's going to have to burn their final timeout right here. As the team headed to the locker room, Auburn had the lead and the momentum. The Tide was looking for answers. Coaches devise the plan. scrimmage in the second half. The plays are there to be made, made. Play is won. Seeing this for purpose, win the game. Because if anybody can't do that, that's not complicated. I'm not talking about scheme. We're talking about players coming together and going to play. If anybody can't do that, if anybody can't go out and lay it on the line for the next 30 minutes, give it everything they got. I want to see heads down. I want to see people compete. If anybody can't do it, you can't tell me now and I'll let you stay in here. 
If anybody can't do that, if anybody's not willing to do that, yes, we started the first week we saying we were what? We were honest people, didn't we not? Yes, sir. First time I talked to you this year, we talked about honesty. You're a man of your word. Now we're going to get after them for the next 30 minutes. Let's do it, y'all. That's weird. Y'all get ready to play. You're going to get after them. You're going to play as hard as you can play. Let's go, let's go, man. Let's kill them, dog. For the next 30 minutes. Yes, sir. You win the football game. The captains delivered the motivation. Play it like a joke. Turn it up. This is my last time. Y'all come on with me, boy. Y'all come on with me, baby. Everybody get right. It's my last time, y'all. The attitude had changed, but the Tide needed something good to happen on the field. Auburn had the ball as the second half started, and the Tigers started another impressive march, with no intentions of allowing Bama to build any confidence. Here's a third and 15 from the Bama 40. Big play, Daniels wide right, three wide outs to the near side. Bama watching Auburn spread the field. Leard out of the shotgun again as he has been much of the evening. From the Alabama 45, Leard looks, Leard throws long, wide open, the man to the near side, 20, 15, 10, 5, Traveris Robinson to the five yard line. Let's see what Tuberville says. Yep, they're going to go for it and put the points on the board. A 22 yard chip shot field goal. That's what's coming right here. Off the foot of Duval. He is two of two from this range this year. This is a chip shot. It's up. And it is no good. Hey. It is no good. It is no good. Why? wide and is one yard farther out than an extra point a chip shot could this be the change of momentum Bama's looking for perhaps that was the break Alabama needed the defense gave ground but held and the offense was ready to make something happen from Bama's own 26 the tide is two of seven and third down conversions two left two right shotgun for Tyler Watts gets the snap looks left Sets up, fires, complete, first down. McAdley's got it up to the 40-yard line. Out of the 41 before he goes down. Third and eight from their own 43. Bama is three of eight in third down conversions. Watts, shotgun, looks, throws. Millen's got it. Freddie now doubles back to the 45. He'll come laterally to the near side of the 44 to the 43-yard line. So Alabama in business. <laughs> Tim Bowens and Buchanan go wide to the far side. The crowd is into it. Bama looking at a third and six from the 40-yard line. Here's Tyler to throw. Watch sets up. Everybody's covered. Tyler mounts the throw and throws to Bowens. Yes, he'll make the grab at the 30 for the first down. Tim Bowens behind great blocking that afforded Tyler Watts all the time he needed, comes up with a huge reception at the 30-yard line to keep this drive alive. All starts with great pass protection, Eli. The young man, Tyler Watts, sits back there for seems like forever, dancing on his toes, waiting for something to happen. Offensive line just doing a great job of giving him time to find his people as Alabama spreads it. So the first and 15 for the time from the Auburn 22. Again, the five wide receivers and Alexander in motion, McAdley, Shotgun for Tyler Watts. He'll step, he'll throw. Millen's across the middle with blocking. He's got the completion near the 10. He's cutting inside. Now outside. He's to the 5. He's to the 4-yard line. Freddie Millen's super play, and what a block by Paul Hogan. He opened up the middle, and Freddie Millen's just kept on going. <laughs> Freddie, Freddie. 
first and goal. They'll say his knee hit at the six yard line. The give, Alexander dancing, fighting, fighting his way. He's to the three. It'll be second and goal from there at Latron, among others, making the stop. This drive has taken better than six minutes. Here's a second and goal from the two. At the end zone to our right, Watts under center Hogan. Jones, the tight end in motion. The give, Alexander, nothing there. He goes right into the teeth of that defense and big Leonardo Carson. Dustin McClintock is in. Bowens, he goes wide. Here's the give. Sean angles left, cuts it up the field. He cannot get in. He is to the one. Haven Fields, fourth and goal from the two. Terry Jones in motion. Tyler Watts, the give. Alexander's not going to get there. Auburn holds. The series will lose back to the five. Kenny Kelly with a huge stop on Alabama's Sean Alexander. The fourth down gamble failed. The crowd was delirious. Each team had had a long, time-consuming drive that resulted in no points. But the Tigers were backed up deep. And the Alabama defense was ready to set the tone for the remainder of the night. On the first and ten from his own three-yard line, Leard under center. They're going to throw. Leard is being sacked in the end zone for a safety. And a safety. The and we get they the were going to really let a rip. Cornelius Griffin and Kendall Moorhead came in. And this is going to turn things around as Leard gets sacked in the end zone for a safety. It is a pooch kick. It is to the 20 yard line. Freddie Millens, 25, has running room to the 30, to the 35 of the middle 40. Freddie to the 45, to the 47 yard line. Bama's in business. Just three yards shy of midfield. Brandon Reed. Up first and 10, Bama from their own 48 yard line. Handoff Alexander behind the big block. Sean's loose to the 40. Sean's carrying guys to the 35. He's ticked off, and he's carrying the world on his back now to the 35 yard line. With the final 15 minutes about to begin, the Auburn lead was only six. The Alabama defense started to shift things in a more favorable direction. And now the offense was ready to take over. Now Bama on the handoff. There's Sean. Big hole. He's to the 30. Bounces off a couple of guys to the 25 to the 24. Sean just passes Joe Cribbs of Auburn in the SEC rushing list. And importantly, before Adley Trone hauls him down, gets inside to the 23-yard line. Bama on the move. Moments into the fourth quarter. <laughs> Looking at a third and seven here from the Auburn 20. Play clock at 10, nine. Watts under center, wide outs either way. Pitch back Alexander, looks for a hole, gets it. He's short of the first down though. He's to the 16 yard line. Sean, 24 carries, 100 yards. And for Sean Alexander, another 100 yard day. He is tied with Bobby Humphrey 
for first place in all time 100 yard rushing games. That's 15 for both of them. Eli, they send in Tim Boys and they're going to go for it on fourth down. Bama 0 of 1 in fourth down conversions. Tyler Watts is split to the far side. Alabama is going to snap the football to the up man. It's taken by Millens. Freddie's going to run it. He's got a first down. He's to the 10 yard line. He's still on his feet to the 8 yard line. Alabama pulling some razzle dazzle out of the playbook. Stanford Simmons hit him. Casher put him down. But quickly, Tyler Watts split wide to the far side. The man in the normal quarterback spot was Freddie Millens. He grabs the snap and rushes it inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Bama looking at a first and goal from there. Alabama runs an option play with Freddie Millens at quarterback. He takes a snap almost in a shotgun type position. Down the line of scrimmage. Elects to keep it. Makes a good decision and goes for the first down as Alabama spreads the field with four wide. First and goal from the 7. Handoff Alexander Big hole, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Touchdown! Touchdown! Alabama! Sean Alexander, seven yards behind the huge blocks on the left side of the offensive line. We're tied at 14 here at Auburn. <laughs> Extra point from Flugner, who was 18 of 20 in that department this year. Snap is there, spot is there, kick is up. Bama leads. Bama leads 15 to 14 with 11:55 remaining in the football game. With the lead now in hand, it was time to put pressure on the Tigers. Here's the second down and 10 from their own 35-yard line. Leard out of the shotgun. We've not seen him go to Daniels lately. Daniels gets bumped. Leard gets hit. He'll throw the football away, and here comes the flag. It'll be intentional grounding on Auburn as the man, Kendall Moorhead, got to Leard. He releases the football. Gabe Sanders does the snap. Duval punts it away. It's a good punt. Freddie Millens makes the grab. 35-yard line. Up the right side, 40. Cuts to the middle, 45, nothing there, goes back to the right side, 45, 50, Freddie Williams picks up an extra seven yards on the play just by having those happy feet near midfield. Here now the first and ten from midfield, pitch back, Sean Alexander gets outside, stiff arms a man, he's to the 40, he'll step out of bounds to the 37-yard line, Sean Alexander playing like a man possessed, he stiff arms Adlai Trohn and gets a great block by Jason McAdley and Chris Samuels to allow him to turn the corner. Now Tyler Watts in a little bit of a hole with a first and 15. Three wide outs to the right and one to the left, first and 15, Bama from the Auburn 41, on the give, Sean Alexander, big hole, cuts back, breaks the tackle, 30, first down, 20. 25-yard line. Big-time run for Sean. Finally, Marcus Washington and Rodney Creighton put him down. But what blocking by Samuels, Redmill, Hogan, Cuthbert, and Ellington. And Bama leads 15-14, and the tide is threatening. But they need a yard right here to keep this drive going. It is third and a yard from the Auburn 14. Sean Bohannon is the tailback. Behind McClintock, Dustin goes forward with the push. I believe he will get it. He moves that pile of humanity forward to the 13-yard line, and it should be enough it is, says Rogers Redding. First down for Big Red, Dustin McClintock, the junior from Quinlan, Texas, going wide are Bowens, Carter, and Buchanan. First and 10, Bama from the Auburn 13. Play action, Watts steps up, breaks a tackle, forward to the 10, to the 9, to the 8-yard line. Great effort by Tyler Watts, pulled the ball down, was finally tripped up by Leonardo Carson and put away by Marcus Washington, but he showed some strength right there, the kid did. On the third and two, they got the beef in there, the give, Alexander cuts left, he's in, touchdown! Touchdown, Sean Alexander! Touchdown from the five! And the Tide now leads Auburn 21-14 with the extra point yet to come. Eli, I think you can say that the offensive line has just taken over this last quarter of this game. That time again, as we've said over and over and over, right behind Griff Redmill and Will Cutberth, Paul Hogan, Chris Samuels, just Tyler Watts turns and pitches the ball out of the eye formation back. 
Great blocking up front. Sean Alexander finds the seam, dances in there untouched for the touchdown as the extra point is good. The extra point adds to it. And with 7.02 to go in the football game, Bama now leads 22 to 14. And Sean Alexander with two touchdowns tonight. That is the most in a single season in the SEC. Despite the overpowering performance in the fourth quarter, it was still just a one touchdown game and Auburn was not ready to give up its perfect mark at home against the tie. Now with two wideouts left and two wideouts right, here's a second and six for Auburn from their own 31-yard line. Ben Leard again in the shotgun, has been most of the night, has time, fires high, caught. It is Terrarius Robinson who dances it around along the near side and get run out of bounds by Milo Lewis and Reggie Miles. Two left and two right, second and three from the Bama 38. Lear, shotgun, off the near hash mark, gets the snap from Kubelik. Lear, under pressure, throws, wide open, Heath Evans down the near sideline. He's running the bounds at the 20-yard line by the Crimson Tide. The Tide staying right with him. Tony Dixon finally rides him out of bounds on the big third down play. Lear has time, throws, it is knocked down by Darius Gilbert. Darius Gilbert, the linebacker, wanted to make the pick. But nevertheless, it wasn't his second interception of the year, but it was the second pass that he has broken up this season. And a big one for Alabama's Darius Gilbert. And now Tommy Tuberville says, let's get some points on the board. Off the near hash mark. He missed from 22. This is from 35. The kick is on the way. The kick is up. The kick is good. It is good with 2.58 remaining. It is now Alabama 22, Auburn 17. Man, I can feel myself turning gray. I, I, I don't know if I can say the same about you, Snake. Well, you almost expect this sort of thing anytime these two teams match up, whether it be in Legion Field in Birmingham or Brian Denny or whether it's Jordan Air Stadium. Anytime you Alabama and Auburn play, you're in for a treat, and Auburn will not die. Ben Lear doing a good job of driving them down there. Alabama's defense stiffens and holds them to a field goal. Now the offense got to get rolling and try to work on the clock. Duvall lays the football down. Play clock is at eight, seven, six. Duvall will try to go for it. Auburn touches it short of 10 yards, but who does have it? It is Alabama football. It is Alabama football. Terry Jones Jr. is underneath there. With three minutes remaining, Alabama only needed first downs to salt the win away. But that wasn't good enough for Sean Alexander, Alabama's all-time rushing leader. Two minutes, 53 seconds to go in the ball game. First and 10, Bama from the Auburn 41. Magnificent field position. Tyler Watts, the give to Alexander. Nothing there for Sean. He will pick up a yard. And now Auburn is going to start burning some timeouts. The Tigers will use the first of their allotment. They have the full three remaining. All right, here's a third and five play for Bama from the Auburn 36. Each team with one timeout. The give, Sean, big hole, 30, first down, 25, 20, cuts left, 15. He's to the 12, he's to the 11-yard line. Big run, Sean Alexander, Rodney Creighton finally chased him down. They are dancing in the end zone, seats to our left. That's where the Bama fans are, and they smell a win, maybe for the first time ever on this gridiron at Auburn. A 24-yard pickup for Sean. Looks like Alabama probably will bring in the beef. You see their tight ends coming in. Terry Jones looks like he's in. Sean Draper is in. You bet. The beef. Look for a run, as you say, to the right side of the formation to center the ball. Third and four from the Auburn six. Tyler Watts gives to Alexander. Goes right. Cuts at the middle. He's in. Touchdown. 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 <laughs> Six yards out with a minute nine to go. 
We're heading to Atlanta, my friend. Yeah, let's go to the Georgia Dome. The SEC Championship game awaits with Bama now leading Auburn 28 to 17. Sean, 33 carries, 181 yards on the evening. Alabama trying to run the ball to the right side of the formation, basically just to center the ball in the middle for the field goal, but great job on the right side. Dante Ellington, Will Cutberth on the right side, knocking him out of there, and Sean Alexander doing what he's done better than anybody. for them to come with their nickel package and play a lot of deep zone. Lane Bearden boots this one on the ground. It'll be picked up by Tim Carter at the 10, 15, 20. Carter cuts to the near side, 30. Carter breaks a tackle. He's loose and gets put down by his own man. Gets put down by his own man at the 40-yard line as he was bumped by Dave Beasley, one of the tight ends, who laid the beef on his own guy and put him down. Bama 28, Auburn 17. Here's a second and 10 from their own 41. Leard to throw. Then unloads. It is intercepted by Alabama. There it is. Reggie Miles. So long for the interception record. Miles is going to run it back. He's inside the 30 to the 28 yard line and put down by Geno James. Geno James. We had just talked about the interceptions. <laughs> And now across the way, Mike Dubose has just gotten the shower of water. And they just turned that cooler all over them. Bama now ready for their favorite play of the day. They take the knee. That's what's coming here. Auburn out of timeouts. Folks, you might want to grab a pencil and paper. When this game wraps up and is part of the post game, we'll give you details on how you can get tickets to the championship game, how you can make travel plans, how you can get a videotape, a highlight of this evening's game. That time, Bama takes the knee. This one is done. This one is done. Bama has won at Auburn. Bama has won at Auburn. The final score, 28 to 17. Here come thousands of fans onto the field. The coaches surrounded by a squad of state troopers and police have a quick word at midfield. Mike Dubos talking with Adrian Karsten of ESPN for the live television coverage. We will, of course, be hearing from the coach in the locker room. The officials quickly head to the sanctity of their locker room. Snake, way to go, my friend. We've been coming here for 10 years. Couldn't do what you've done on your first visit. Well, what a great opportunity they've got now for the SEC championship game. But if you look at this game, I think you have to look at the adjustments made it to halftime. A new young quarterback comes in and ignites this team and drives them down. Defense does a job in what probably turns around the game with a safety, which creates great field position. Sean Alexander doing what he's done his entire career. The Alabama team doing the adjustments at halftime, playing great, great football, not making any mistakes in the second half, and we go into the SEC championship game in Atlanta.